Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Happy Friday night. And you guessed it, it's time for another edition of Friday Night Lightning. Right on the heels of the Johnny Lightning Challenge 2023, there is a whole lineup of Johnnies that haven't been ran. But first, we do have a little bit of unfitness business from the Johnny Lightning Challenge. I forgot to run my Johnny Lightning against the winner, which was Blue Line Racing with a Grape Ape. This is my fastest Johnny Lightning, Black with Flames Camaro, which also happens to hold the track record at the moment at a 2.057. So let's see if Blue Line can put down another record time or does Elevation Diecast Racing hold the record down in the Johnny Lightning class. Let's see it. Good race. 2062 to a 69. 2062 and a greater than 7,000 speed needed if Blue Line wants to beat the Blackwood Flames. And he does not do it. 2059, very close to the record. And that, what a run. And there's your winner of the Johnny Lightning Challenge. Blue Line Racing, congratulations. Very fast car. Which brings us over to the Johnny Lightning class. We have quite a few vacant spots, and we also have quite a few faster Johnny Lightning waiting to get into the ranks. And if you remember, this van was the one in the gatekeeper spot. We'll get a good time on him. So he's at a 2.098. Not bad. 2.096. Wow. Time does do these Johnnies well. Okay, so currently in the mid-30s is this Mako Shark. Let's see where he sits. 2.112. Okay, so he's... That's about right for the gatekeeper. So I'm certain we won't get through all of these tonight. But let's take a look at let's take a look at this yellow pickup truck the cyclone pretty cool truck kind of looks like a sleeper don't he let's see what he's running tonight and see if he can get into the rankings 2125 mm mm, -mm. Let's see again. 2125, I can tell you, is not going to cut it. Okay, next up, hey, let's take a look at this guy here. Plymouth Satellite. We'll run him up to the top. If I remember right, some of these cars were running real fast. There we go, 2085, let's go. Let's just get right into it. Why mess around at the bottom of the stack when we can go to the top with this Coca-Cola Studebaker official number one in the Johnny class weight rankings. Oh yeah, 2069. Ooh, okay, so that satellite isn't that fast. Let's roll them up against the import heat. Satellite out front. 2082 to 90, oh, there we go. 2082 and a greater than 8,000 speed. And the satellite is going to pull ahead. It's the number nine ranked World War II ambulance. Let's see if the satellite can take him out. Oh, did he catch him at the end? No. We'll swap him. 2086 and a greater than 3,000 speed if the satellite wants to take the spot. 2082 in a 4,000 speed. Whoa, 3,000 speed. That's a better time. Let's run them one more time. 2082 in a greater than 3,000 speed. Yeah, the ambulance just too much for them. Still not a bad showing, and now sitting at number 10 in the Johnny class. Let's roll the Cheetah and the Green Mustang. Lightning Rod session. Lightning Rod out in front, but the Cheetah come back on him. 2114 and a 4,000 speed. 2114 and a greater than 4,000 speed. And the Mustang was coming back. 
But the Cheetah, or the 2112 Mustang will go back to the parking lot. And the Cheetah running a 2112. Oh, could not get him. 2108 and a greater than 3,000 speed. If the Cheetah wants to take out the spot, the vet holds in the vet. Too much. Let's see if he can take out the Mako Shark. Mmm, 10,000 speed. Cheetah needs a 2114 and a greater than 10,000 speed. Looks like he may get it. He does, 2105 to an 08. So the Cheetah officially would be in spot 36 because there's an empty spot in 12 and 25. Okay, so in the Johnny Lightning Challenge, we've seen another um, Dodge Ram. So let's put this Dodge Ram against this Dodge Ram and just kind of see what these two do. That certainly was a lot of fun to run that race. Those Johnny Lightnings will keep you on the edge of your seat. You never know. You never know what is going to happen. Look at that red runner. 2090 and a 2101. 2090 and a greater than 11,000 speed. Old Red takes it with a 2089. Let's see if Old Red can beat out that import. Oh yeah, 2090 and a 6,000 speed. 2087, but an 86 and a 1,000 speed. We'll run them again. 2086 and a greater than 1,000 speed. Now the time to beat for the Ram and he won't do it. Won't get past the import. So as of right now, uh, the number 12 is this Mustang. Let's see what he does. Let's see if the Mustang still has it. Ooh, close race. Mustang with a warm-up lap. Let's see how he does in the other lane. 208.9 and a greater than 1,000 speed. And the truck will get past the Mustang. So he'll find him spot sitting at number 12. So let's take that same green Dodge Ram against the purple one that came from the 10-pack. And let's see what they do. Good race. 2098 and a 10,000 speed. Purple and gold with the advantage. And it is the purple and gold Dodge Ram picking it up. Let's roll them against the 13th ranked Wolverine Ford. Ooh, buddy. 2089 and a greater than 3,000 speed. Won't get it done. We'll see how he fares against the number 17 ranked Uncle Sam in that beautiful tornado. Uncle Sam coming back. Let's see it. Swapping lanes. 2092 and a greater than 2,000 speed. 2088 and a 4,000 speed puts Uncle Sam on it. All right, we've seen plenty of Camaros this past week, and this is this purple Camaro. Pretty sweet. Let's see what he's got in the tank still. The truck. Taking him out by a thousandth, though. 2093 and a greater than 1,000 speed. And the Camaro can't keep up. Wow. It's the number 19th ranked ZL1 Camaro. Can the truck take him out? 2090 and a 10,000 speed. Let's see if the Camaro can eat a Mopar sandwich. ZL1 in trouble. He'll put him down. So this Dodge Ram will be either 18th or 19th. Currently number 18 is my GT40. Good race. 2092 and a 2000 speed. Can the Ford punch back? No, he cannot. 2091 puts the truck in 18th place. Let's keep him Mopar. And see what happens with a couple of Little Red Express. Good race. 2096 by Little Red. 2096 and a greater than 4,000 speed. And Little Red will take it with a 2087. Good time. So let's see if that Little Red Express can beat out this Ram. I'm pretty sure he can. No, the Ram comes back on him. 86 to 90. Little Red Express needs a greater than 4,000 speed and an 8.6. Not gonna happen. So we'll see if this Ram can beat this GT40 for spot number 19 in the Johnny class. 
Ooh, 1,000th. 209.4 and greater than 1,000 feet needed. Not gonna happen. Let's see if he can take out the ZL1. ZL1 was coming back, but not fast enough. 209.3 and a 5,000th advantage by the Dodge. Not a big enough beat. So 2091 and a 2,000 speed. Needed by the Dodge to take the place. 9-4 to 1-0. Oh, not going to happen. One more time. 9-7. Maybe the truck is faster. One more to time to decide the place. ZL1 punches back when it counts. We'll let him keep his spot. Let's give Willie some exercise. Good race. 9301. 2093 and a greater than 8,000 speed needed for Willie. Won't do it. Okay, for spots 21 and 22. Camaro getting bested by a thousandth. 2097, the time to beat. Wow. Okay. Trucks found his spot. All right, so previously on the Johnny Lightning Challenge, Victor Fastlane sent in the 442 and wanted us to run him on Friday Night Lightning to see kind of where he would sit. Let's get a time on him. 2099. And another run. 2103. Let's see what he does against the Mako Shark. He will take him out. By 10,000. So let's put him up against the tow truck. Hasn't had any exercise in a while. Wow, 2092 running faster. 2092 and a 9,000 speed. Wow. He'll beat the tow truck out. All right, 442 giving away a lot of weight against this van. Let's just see what happens. He did it. And he's getting faster. 2085 now. Victor must have switched out motors after the race. Taking it to the van. 2085 in the first run. Now for the consistent test. 2092 and a greater than 9,000 feet. Yeah. Won't get him. So as of right now, he would sit number 37 for Victor Fastlane at Knobby Ridge Dragway. I also want to thank... Hermes Rodriguez for sending this Majorette police car or a matchbox. He's a real rider and he also sent me this Johnny Lightning. Very cool cutlass. Rubber tire. So he will be going into the collection. Thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. Others who have sent cars in will be featured in lunchtime laps and for closing out the johnny lightning friday night lightning brandon over at scale racing sent a couple of johnny's along a very rare cameo and a classic ford let's see what they do Hmm, 2099, not too bad. We'll be working with these. These are just as they came. Those are the times they run. Remember that for next week's episode. Because we're going to be working with these two. Seeing if we can get some more speed out of them boys there. Alright, so I got one more that I want to feature this week. It was another gift. And uh, really, really do appreciate Craigster Nelson Sr., uh, who raced at the Johnny Lightning Challenge, sent me this Hemi Challenger. Thank you, sir, very much. Also sent me this White Lightning Limited Edition. Looks like a Tornado. Yeah, you know I got to crack that open and race it. Is that a Tornado? Custom. Yeah, custom Tornado. Yeah, we might as well see if he's fast. Yep, there's a there's a crease in the card. So, I mean, there's no sense in keeping them all boxed up here. Oh, 
hold on here. Let's, uh, oh yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, hang on, let me see here. All right, we're going to wrap up this edition, this week's edition of Friday Night Lightning with a white lightning. Let's see what he does. Give him a couple runs down the track. Hmm, not too bad. And another lap down. 2-1-3-0. Okay, so remember that time. We're going to be working with this guy as well. And uh, from all of us over here at Elevation Diecast Racing, man, if your car isn't fast, at least it'll look good on the shelf. We'll see you folks next week for Friday Night Lightning. See ya.